Pandit Nehru, the first Prime Minister of India, wrote a number of letters to his daughter Indira, who was studying at Mussoorie. His letters contained essential facts of evolution of man, beginning from the making of the earth to the great age of the Ramayana and the Mahabharata. In this letter, Nehru begins by defining the solar system. He goes on to differentiate between a planet and a star, and later talks of the breaking away of the Earth from the Sun and the Moon from the Earth. Dear Indira, as you know that the Earth goes round the Sun, and there are several other bodies which, like the Earth, go round the Sun. All these, including our Earth. Are called planets of the sun. The moon is called the satellite of the earth because it revolves around the earth. Similarly, the other planets have also got their satellites. Therefore, the sun and the planets with their satellites form a happy family called the solar system. Solar means belonging to the sun. Do you know the fact that the sun itself is a star? It looks bigger as it is nearer, and we see it as a great ball of fire. The real stars are like our sun. They shine of themselves because they are very hot and burning. My dear children. Can you distinguish between a planet and a star? Come on, children, let's do it. A star has its own light, whereas a planet has no light of its own. It shines by reflecting the light of the sun. Stars twinkle at night, but the planets they do not. A star. Has a very high temperature, but the planets have low temperature. Stars are very far away. Planets are much nearer to the Earth as compared to stars. There are billions of stars in the space, but there are only eight planets in the solar system. Long, long ago. The Earth and all the planets were a part of the Sun. Somehow, little bits of the Sun got loose, and they shot out into the air. But they could not fully get rid of their father, the Sun. The Earth was very hot, with terrible hot gases and air all around it. Nothing could live on it. No man, no animal, no plant or tree. Gradually, the surface of the earth became cooler, although the interior remained very hot. It is red hot inside. When the earth cooled, all the water vapors in the air condensed into water, and probably. Came down as rain. All this water filled the great hollows in the earth, and so the great oceans and seas were formed. Just as a bit of the sun shot out and became the earth, so also a bit of the earth shot out and became the moon. Many people think that the moon came out of the great hollow, which is now the Pacific Ocean. It's between America and Japan. The moon also started to cool. It cooled more quickly than the Earth, as it was smaller in size than the Earth. It looks delightfully cool, does it not? Perhaps, 
it is full of glaciers and ice fields. As the earth became cooler and the oceans also became cooler, it became possible for living beings to exist on the earth's surface, on land as well as in water.